Top of the morning to ya, Captains. Hope you all had a great St. Paddy's Day or are still having one as the time of you watching this video. Or perhaps you're already over St. Paddy's Day and feasted on a breakfast of aspirin and a large glass of water. <laughs> well, this is a round two video of the US Navy's premium tier seven destroyer Sims. A ship I got over the Christmas holidays and am just thoroughly enjoying if you're not fully aware, I do have a full Sims review that you can check out, or you can sit back and enjoy this round two adventure. All right, this match sees us top tier in a tier seven matchup. Nice, look at that. Only one enemy destroyer, an enemy Sims. <laughs> and the map, of course, is Neighbors. Now I won't go too in depth as I usually do because this is the same exact setup on my captain modules that I have in my previous Sims video, but I will show you just to make sure that it's all honky dory. But what I do want to show right now is my lead real quick guys, that at the very beginning of the match I hit the shift key and zoom in all the way and then I roll back once on my mouse and then I hit shift again to go back to my ship view. And when you look at it versus like this Fabuki, hey, I roll back once on the mouse and voila. That one click for me is the perfect lead picture. So for instance, this Fabuki is 5.7 kilometers away, but if she was real and intended to do me harm, this is exactly how I would lead her. When I pull the trigger, all my rounds are gonna land right on her smokestacks. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that to drive that point and answer maybe some of y'all questions as, what is he talking about? Zoom it all the way and click one back. <laughs> well, there you go, you get it. Now, I do like to cruise out here in the open water in any of my, my destroyers, to be honest with you. U.S. Navy destroyers, I don't mind going into the island zone over there on the eastern side. Now, if I was in that Nikki, I'd probably be making a beeline for that island life as well, too, because the Nikki's got crap torpedo range, you know, tier five, not the best guns in the world either, so, and not the fastest either as well. So I don't, I wouldn't want to be in the open water, but he sees me, I'm sailing with purpose, and so he's like, well, maybe I'll, <laughs> I'll sail in your wake for a bit. <laughs> Oh, oh, tally ho, Königsberg and an emerald. Königsberg is 11 kilometers away and smokestacks are going. I do have him selected for my sea mines. That's another thing, captains. Uh, some guys like to use the first upgrade that it reduces the range, but increases the speed and lethality of these things. But I love the long range, slow ball, torpedoes that are the sims armament i love these things they're just, they're just brilliant i love them now looks like the Königsberg has stopped now so i'm just gonna fire on him because i'm not sure what that guy's doing if he's gonna keep reversing oh oh tally ho sim sim sims enemy sims six and a half kilometers away here we go fire on him and boom take out a steering a nice hit lead him now i'm gonna lead him around 12 clicks or so to try to land onto him this is kind of difficult because the sims she's a slippery little devil to get your hands on but oh nice bopped the right on the smokestacks for 800 come on come on he's shimmy shaking turning and burning he is detected hard copy and we have a lot of cruisers that are not too far away from him so if we can just keep throwing the lead out we're gonna be dishing some pain on him something fierce if we can <laughs> if we can land him look at that shimmy shake he is getting hit, thankfully, by everybody else, including our little Nikki. The little Nikki was right there in front of him, just pew pewing away, and took him down. Tier five, good nighted the tier seven Sims. Sweet, good job, brother. See what I mean by hanging by those little islands for the USDD? That was a good job, man. I did take around 3,500 off him though, so that was a good. That was all right. Okay, the Königsberg is. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe disconnected or something like that. But I think I am gonna land a torpedo for 7200 and a flood so I'm gonna let that stick and I'm gonna focus on those juicy juicy battleships in the back there's a emerald that I do want to be mindful of the emerald isn't the greatest ship in the world but she can do me some harm especially at these kinds of distances eight kilometers away that is a possibility now, I am looking at that Arizona I was thinking about the Königsberg, but you know, he's probably going to be food to some of our battleships here in the background, PDQ. But I'm looking at this AZ, not the fastest thing in the world. You know, the New Mexico is a speed merchant compared to the Arizona. <laughs> so I'm going to line him up. I want to get in close. I'm worried about that emerald, though, maybe seeing my torpedoes. But 
I'm figuring, you know, the AZ's got to feel pretty confident, and he wants to make a beeline. That's, that's what it looks like. He's making a beeline to the islands. So I'm just going to fire right on the shooting solution, pop my smoke because I have enough guys around here that should be able to keep these guys illuminated for me so I can inflict some major damage on this emerald. Come on, 1,100. Come on. I got the interfuse. Ooh, 2,300. Nice, nice. Here we go. Come on, come on. Just volley firing away, tearing into this little emerald. Yeah, he doesn't like that a lot. He's already turning away. Screw that. Oh, and I light a fire. Nice. Good, good. See if I can let that stick. Remember, he's on a cruiser cooldown. So if he puts it out, which he did, that means I could light him a fire again if I can see him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Come on, launch the spotter aircraft. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, I had targets of opportunity. There was an Omaha backing up. Shoot on him. If I can hit him. Oh, my torpedoes look good. Those are going to land. Excellent. So let's work on this emerald again. He's still as a window. Oh, and I sent it down. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, five torpedoes into the Arizona. Cost two floods. Oh, solid. Look at those hits just rack up. So I guarantee he used his repair party now. Oh, boo. He just disappeared. Disappeared into the ether. <laughs> oh, come on. In the eyes. The Arizona is hurting. He is open and susceptible to some fires. If I could land him on his deck, if I could only see him. Now my torpedoes are up again because I love these fast loading sea mines. Just beautiful. And targets opportunity everywhere. Shiny horse shooting over the mountain. Come on, can we connect? I can't see where he is, but I'm just guesstimating it. Oh, took a wild ass guess and took out an AA. <laughs> now I see a whole bunch of cruisers behind this rock, the Cleveland and the Leander. And I'm going to fire on the western side of that island, guesstimating that the Arizona is also going to be coming into that zone as well, too. So I'm just doing a, a skill wall of torpedo, <laughs> to be honest with you. Just chucking it into there and seeing what sticks. Side sticking, I landed a fire on the Leander. <laughs> Come on, let's lay into him. My sea mine's looking good. The Arizona, he did a little bit of a crazy Ivan as fast as the Arizona can. He did not like taking five torpedoes. <laughs> oh, 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 Cleveland and oh, there, the Emerald is back. The Emerald is back, sneaking around that island. Ooh, there's not one, but two, two cruisers, but I don't care. Speed boost is engaged. Oh, and I land a torpedo on the Emerald, nice. Oh, and am I gonna land something on the Cleveland? I'm gonna land something on the Cleveland? Come on, one, maybe two. Oh, oh, one, at least one, maybe two. Boom, 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 Confederate. 13,000 points of damage, and it caused flooding on the Cleveland. Oh, this could be very nice. Now, I do take a... Oh, and I land on Citadel, and I kill the Cleveland at the same time. Excelente. Keep working on this Emerald, because he did use his repair party, so I can land... Oh, oh, I take a shot from somebody. Oh, I take a shot, and I am on fire. Come on, let's put this lander down. If I can land a fire, that would spell curtains for him. Come on, come on. Put the fire out. And it's probably that shiny horse. I think the shiny probably got pissed and took a pop at me. But that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> Good night, Cleveland, though. Nice, excellent. Now, I do have my speed boost engaged. I see our shiny horse going after the New Mexico and Arizona. And there was another battleship up there. I think it was a buyer, maybe. I don't know. But there's still a Leander and an Emerald lurking around here somewhere. I am going to move in to engage this New Mexico and try and help out our shiny horse. Doesn't need too much help because look at those torpedoes just bopping in New Mexico. One, the shiny horse is a tough mamma jamma. I don't have her yet, but she is a tough ship, especially that bow frontal FU armor. Trying to light a fire and my stick. Excellent, exactly. That's what I was hoping for. Yes, sweet. Laying into him now. I probably could switch up to AP and shoot into the superstructure of this New Mexico. I'm thinking this guy's not going to be much longer for this world, and so, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> and the shiny horse takes down the New Mexico. All right, Leander is in the full French reversal mode. Beep, beep. <laughs> so if I can lay some shots on him, he's talking about this ship is amazing. And I gotta agree, I think he's being a little sarcastic there, but I do like the Leander. If you haven't seen the video, check it out. I like it a lot. <laughs> All right, come on. Can I land it on this thing? He is reversing eight kilometers away. Oh, 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 Emerald is just hurting. He's trying to hide. You don't see me. Cover my eyes. I don't see you. You don't see me. <laughs> I see you, though. Oh, and I want to land some fires. I want to land some hurt on your decks. I knock him down to 292. Come on. Come on. That should put him down. Come on. That should do it. And good night. Good night, Emerald. Oh, Königsberg. Number two is around. Arizona and the Byron. That's right. There's Leander. All right. I see the Arizona. 
speed burst than that he is, I figure, well, it's gonna be safe to launch. Oh, the shooting's a solution. <laughs> oh, that Leander torpedoes just gave me a little bit of odds. That <laughs> little pucker factor right there. I ain't gonna lie. I do pop my smoke because that Kronigsberg is getting a little too close. Light of fire on his decks. He does have hydroacoustic search, so if he does come in and I take a shot from somebody, maybe. Maybe the Byron? I don't know. Maybe he got lucky. All right, Jesus. But the Königsberg is peeling away with his five and a half kilometer torpedoes. So six and rising, and I should be clear of his torpedoes and our New Mexico. Nice. Reefs him a Königsberg. Now that Byron is going slow, but you can see, you can see from the smoke coming out of his stacks, that he's going fast enough to beat my rainbow arc. So I got to extend that lead just a wee bit. Oh, Leander. Leander is back. He wants some. He's going crazy. Oh, Arizona's still plodding along, man. The turtle race. <laughs> oh, he put out damage control. Oh, 20 seconds. Is that going to be enough to land some torpedoes and maybe cause a couple of floods or some fires? Oh, one's going to hit. Two's going to hit. Two hit. Oh, three. Three hit for a high caliber. Four torpedoes landed on the Arizona. Caused a flood, but he was probably, yeah, he is still immune. So the flood doesn't stink. Oh, boo. Oh, Leander is steaming hardcore in. My torpedoes are up again. So I'm just gonna guesstimate where my sea mines might be able to meet this Leander if he doesn't turn in, which, ooh, ooh, it looked like he wanted to turn a little bit, but there is a lot of battleships looking at him. I do have AP loaded, because I thought, well, maybe he'll show a bit of a side. Now, well, anyway, what the hell, I'll switch back to HE, because I can't sit wreck these guys with my intrafuse and my high explosives now, as you saw in the Emerald. The same is true for Mr. Leander. If I can get a broadside and I can take him down, come on. Or my sea mines. Oh, those are looking good. Nice salvos. Come on, keep working away. Keep working away. Whittle him down. But man, we got two big uglies in there. Oh, and he drives right over my last torpedo. Oh, that would have been nice. Bop him on the nose. He's getting too close for comfort. I do light him a fire. Come on, come on. Those are just nice, solid damage numbers rolling in that Leander. Yeah, those look like some torpedoes coming in from that Leander. He lived in hope, either firing on me or firing on my big brother battleship. But no, oh, joy for you, Mr. Leander. <laughs> oh, look at that in Mexico, full health. Whew, all right, well, we are left with three big ugly. <laughs> oh, do you see those? Do you see those shells coming in from the barn? <laughs> I don't know. Look at those. I don't know what he's doing, man. He just he hates flipper. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh my goodness, that Arizona is like, I don't want to go anywhere. I just like took like 12 torpedoes. <laughs> I don't want to move. <laughs> and in fact, it looks like looks like he might actually be reversing. I think he might actually be reversing to go uh, maybe throw some of his crewmen offshore. <laughs> so save yourselves. <laughs> oh, let's see if I can light him a fire though. That'd be nice. Just why the heck not? I know his repair party's probably up. But I'm steaming away. I want to head towards that fire and throw some fish into him. They can, of course, see me now because the spotting. I am well within the detection range of shooting. And look at that fire. Where is he going? He's just plodding along, shooting at me with his hope guns. <laughs> German dispersion versus a 40-something not Sims. Yeah, good luck, man. That is RNG. You you win that game, you go out and you pick seven numbers because the lottery is within your grasp. <laughs> All right, other team is already saying good game, but the game ain't over. We do have a big ugly who is taking up some cap space. Arizona can see me. This is dangerous, six and a half kilometers away. I am detected hard copy before I fire, so I gotta fire anyway. Maybe light him on fire because this is well within Arizona deletion level. Oh, <laughs> missed that one. Come on, can I light him a fire? Fire, 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 please. Oh, nice hits though, nice hits. Yeah, I've got my torpedoes up. He is kind of slowing down a wee bit, I'm, but I'm just gonna throw my little sea mines, my little metal fishies, just take a wag on that one. Hope that at some point they are gonna meet, because I want to save at least one set for this barn. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get off one or two, but I'm thinking I'm gonna swing south to the north end of the island the Arizona is currently hiding behind, and then I'm just gonna pop a J and head towards the barn and that little island there on right now on my nine o'clock. I do fire some hope torpedoes at the barn, just hoping that he's just gonna keep running away towards the tent line, and then that my fishies can meet him. But yeah, I, this is, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna try a slingshot around in case that Arizona doesn't land into my torpedoes. 
Okay, 30 seconds left. That should be good. Oh, there he is. Four kilometers away. 961 hit points of health. Done. Damn, I don't know. I was at 12 or 13 torpedoes. So 12 torpedoes, I think I just threw into that Arizona. <laughs> Damn, man. The Tomonita. All right, here we go. I want to head towards this island now. My fishies, they look good. I might be able to connect with one. But we are getting really close to capping out. Oh, I was thinking about trying to type in chat. Don't cap, don't cap. We got this. But, you know, it's too late. It's, the guy's there. He's going to cap out. So let's open up the account with some gunnery on this Byron. Because I am going to land one torpedo for a flood. 8,200 points of damage. Excellent. Now the fire, she's a beast because she's got that low profile superstructure. So you can see I'm not scoring a lot of damage. Of course, I'm not hitting into the juicy section, but Dasasalis, game over. All right, Captains. Well, maybe you can see why I wanted to show this game for my round two adventure of The Sims. 185,000 points of damage. For four kills, two citadels, but 15 torpedo strikes for Confederate and high caliber. Sims putting in some work. Now, granted, I was topped here by a fair margin, but holy Hannah, that was a lot of damage and a lot of base experience. 2,900 flat base XP with four kills to finish tops of the charts by a fair margin. Look at that. Sims, that's a pretty good one for a tier seven matchup, mostly facing sixes with a handful of fives rolled in there. Not so bad. And the detail report, 462 HE shells fired, 241 landed for 84,000 points of damage from my guns alone. Nice. Eight AP shells fired. Six landed for 420 damage. Ugh. <laughs> but torpedoes, look at that. 48 torpedoes launched, but 15 land for 81,000 points of damage. And between fires and flood, just under 20k. Look at that. Flooding was almost 15,000 in floods. Not bad. Off of 15 torpedoes, though. Not so bad, you know. But damn, that Arizona took at least 12 of those torpedoes. <laughs> what a beast. <laughs> Either that or what wimpy little fishies I have. <laughs> you be the judge. And after Texas with a premium account and the premium ship, a cool half million credits with a standard account just under 300k. Cha-ching. Alrighty, Captains. Well, that was the round two adventure of the U.S. Navy's premium tier 7 destroyer, Sims. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and as always, I thank you guys for watching. So until next time, I will see you all in-game. Have fun, air seas. <laughs>